Exactly. A major shakeup for the Portland Timbers today as they try to make a move to stop the losses from piling up. The team has fired their head coach, John Spencer, and Coin Local Six reporter Tim Becker live at Geldwin Field this afternoon where that announcement took place just a few hours ago. Tim, I guess it comes as a surprise depending on who you talk to, right? That's exactly it, Jeff. It has been kind of a strange day here around the stadium because you do talk to some people and you ask them about today's news and their thoughts of it, and, and they'll tell you, yeah, they are surprised. Yet you talk to others and they're not surprised at all at what happened when John Spencer was fired. I will tell you this Mr. Spencer was planning on sticking around this stadium a lot longer than he actually ended up doing. I'm hoping to be here for a long, long time. John Spencer climbed aboard the Timbers train the summer before the team's first major league season. <laughs> it was a milestone moment, but he also knew it could be a rough ride. We're going to have some down times, but we're going to have some fantastic times together. Turns out the down times have far outweighed those fantastic times, and now he's fired. I cannot stress enough this is not an announcement I expected to make a year and a half into our MLS existence. We have a very young team and had a first time head coach. Here's early cross in towards Sabarillo, who's made it two. The Timbers' weaknesses became even more glaring when they were shut out 3 0 at Salt Lake City Saturday night. They now have not won a road game since last October. But team owner Merritt Paulson says today's firing isn't about that as much as it is about fundamental philosophical differences, presumably about how the team plays win or lose. If you reach a decision that the long term fits not right, you have to ask yourself, will this club be better in 2012 if we make the decision now? Will this club be better in the long term if we make the decision now? If you answer both those questions, yes, in the affirmative, then in my mind, it's the right decision. I don't think there's going to be a major overhaul. GM and former head coach Gavin Wilkinson will take over till the end of the season, hopefully helping the Timbers realize their second year goal of making the playoffs. It has been a tough year and an even tougher day for the man at the top who was fighting back tears today as he shared his decision to move forward and say goodbye to the man he stood beside for almost two years. There's nothing I like more in our games than, than looking down at John, you know, when we score a goal and seeing him fist pumping, looking up at me. I like him a lot. This is a very painful, <laughs> very painful decision to make. Again, the Timbers have won now just five of their 17 games this season and making the playoffs still a possibility, but it is a long shot. Meantime, Spencer released a statement uh, today thanking the team for the opportunity he had, saying he enjoyed his time with the club and that he wishes everyone the best. Reporting for you live outside Geld Winfield, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6. Tim, thank you.